Let's get this mess loaded, boys. Watch your toes. Si, you gonna help us or you gonna? I'm more, you know, I'm in charge of getting it done. What does that mean? I'm gonna take a break. <laughs> all right, who's going dove hunting tomorrow with me? I'm gonna take a excuse. What? I've been driving all over, going down there having field. There ain't no doves on the highlands. There ain't no doves in this country. It's opening day. I know it's opening day, but hey, excuse. I'm gonna pass myself. I'm going fishing. It's hot. Too hot to hunt. What's wrong with you fishing? Look, yes, it's hot. Yes, doves are unpredictable on when they fly. That's part of hunting. We got the rest of the fall dove hunt. I want to eat some crappie. Here's the deal. You can only shoot 15 doves per individual. Yeah, you're my brother. I need somebody else to go. If nobody else is going to go, I'll go. All right, you're in. Everyone I know loves to participate in the eating of delicious doves. You can't participate if we don't have the doves. You got to put the work in to have the payoff. Well, that means 30, so hey, when you cook them, you got enough for us to be invited. Amen. You know what I'm gonna do when I cook them? What? I'm gonna give you an excuse. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh. What in the world? Wow. That's Willie driving. That would be one deuce and a half army vehicle. That's a beast. Hit the horn! He don't know where the horn is. Shut it off! He don't know how to kill it. What's up, privates? You bought that? Yeah, I bought it. Anyone who wonders why I bought this giant truck has probably never been behind the wheel of a big, giant truck. I know why you bought it. It's the only vehicle that can make you look small. <laughs> Good one. I like... Bam! Okay. People say, go big or go home. But when I saw this truck, I thought, go big and go home. He's got a deuce and a half truck, OK, with a three-quarter ton driver. <laughs> hey, there you go, boys. <laughs> And despite what these idiots say, I did not get this truck so I could look thinner. Although I won't complain if that's an unintended consequence. You want to come dove hunt with me tomorrow? You can bring that truck. I got to do some work at the ranch. You ain't going to do no work. Jace, I got stuff I got to do. I'll go the next day. Well, hey, let me borrow it. No, I'm not letting you borrow Why it. Why are you going to let me borrow the truck? Because you're old. Hey. You're blind. OK. You can't drive. I was driving a truck like that when you was in diapers, buddy boy. It's been 80 years since you've been in the military. Hey, it's like falling off a bicycle, OK? You never forget. Falling off the bike? Si, you're not using this truck. What are you talking about? Let me borrow it. Hey, look, y'all bring me some of them doves, all right? No. I just need a few. I'll bring you some doves if I can borrow the Deuce and a Half truck. Shh. Fine. Hey, yo! Si, don't tear this truck up. I just bought it, all right? Oh, I made dinner. You know, it's a Deuce and a si. Half. It's meant to have a dinner, too. No, it's not. Y'all right. need to get back to work. Just get it loaded up. So you're going dove hunting tomorrow? No, I ain't going dove hunting. I got to use that truck for something tomorrow. Hey, what you cooking me? I am making your mom's famous cupcakes, but not for y'all. You in for dove season tomorrow? It's opening day. I have Rebecca's shower. I can't do that. Why would you plan that on opening day and dove season? It's opening day. Babe, you need to tell me more than one day in advance. You've got to give her more than one day in advance, dude. Thank you, Jeff. The opening day of dove season has never moved. It's the first Saturday of September. She's busy being a mom. That's right. Who's side are you on here? You would think that everybody would be jumping up and down waiting for this day. I'm right in the middle of writing a song, so I'm out. What could you possibly come up with that's more important than the opening day of dove season. I mean, I've been writing a lot of short stories lately, and I'm kind of on a roll right now. Short stories. I can't find one single person who will go participate in getting the doves. Who's with me? Girls, y'all don't seem to have a whole lot going on, so I wanted to see if y'all wanted to go dove hunting with us. Nah, I think we'll pass. Yeah. You know it's opening day of dove season. I didn't know that. Merritt knew. No, I didn't. <laughs> well, now you do. I think we'll pass on the dove hunting. Look, let me tell you something. Part of life is trying new things, getting out of your comfort zone. You like to eat doves, right? No, not really. really. OK. What about lunch? Then we go dove hunting. Then we stop and get ice cream. I'd rather go to school. <laughs> Jill, feel free to add anything else. Yeah, I think you're, you know. 
Selling it as hard as you can here. Yeah. Hey, how about I make a deal with you? All right, what you if got? we go dove hunting, you have to take us to the new escape place. Well, what is it? It's kind of cool. They, like, put you in this room for an hour, and you got, like, clues and stuff to try to get out. Hunting involves a lot of sitting, and sitting involves a lot of talking. And after 38 years of being Jace's brother, I could use some company. You know, I don't like to be in small spaces with walls. It's not like a closet. It's like a normal room. These girls are my last chance to avoid a whole day of listening to Jace say things like, why are doves called doves? You literally just told us to get out of our comfort zone and try new things. You did say that. It's like sitting in the sun with a redneck Seinfeld who's not near as funny. All right, it's only an hour. I can do anything for an hour. All right, y'all come dove hunt with us, and then we'll go spend an hour locked in a room. Deal. You happy? Oh, they told us. Girls are good, man. Yeah, they're real good. Okay. I'm already hot. It's already hot? Yeah. We just got here. But it's still hot. It's only because you just got out of the air conditioning. I know, it's hot. All right, well, let's set this umbrella up. Because look, I want to be ready by 12 o'clock exactly. We'll count it down. Count down to start blasting. All right, let's get this out. All right, on three. All right. Three. Look at here. You ever seen this in a dove field? I've never seen the dove field. OK, OK. How does this work? I have come up with the perfect plan to get over the heat. A giant umbrella. Here, we're gonna have to get this level. We need a oh, sandbag. I fixed to solve the heat. We fixed oh, the oh, oh, thing here. Calm down, pal. Yeah. Never seen anyone dove hunting with a giant umbrella. What you call that? Being smart. All right, put the netting on. Why won't this work? If this actually works, and I know it will, the entire family will be begging me to go dove hunting next time. All right, don't panic. I have a backup plan. I say I take this umbrella, I put it back in the truck because there's a couple kinks. In the meantime, here. Are you kidding me? Perfect. What right. a spacious umbrella. It's hot, so I'll get you an this umbrella. This is not exciting. Where's mine? So far up in the day of dove hunting, it's not off to a good start. We have no umbrella, no shade, and these girls are having no fun. I'm hungry. I brought something to eat. Rolls? Rolls? What are we, prisoners? Rolls? I can't blame the girls for complaining. I'm pretty miserable, too. You should have bought chips, dude, and, like, some candy and... Tastes like diarrhea. Jace finds pride in dealing with horrible conditions. I, on the other hand, am a sane person. Dad, what are the symptoms of a heat stroke? You don't have a heat stroke, baby, but it is hot. The escape room is looking better and better by the minute. Actually, any room is looking pretty enticing. OK, I have an idea. Since we're just sitting here in the hot sun, why don't we just go to the escape gaming place right now? Because we're dove honey. That wasn't the deal. The doves ain't flying, bro. And it's hot. And I could use some air conditioning, so. All right, I'll tell you what. If you want to go get locked up in a room, we'll go do that. But then we come back, and then we hunt. Yes, let's deal. do it. All right, y'all wait here. I'll yes bring the yes. trucks. All right, let's start packing up, girls. I don't think I can stand up. I know, my butt's already raw. All right, folks, welcome to Sai's official Duck Commander tour. Go ahead and give you tickets to Mountain Man there. Everybody get on the vehicle and make yourself comfortable. Don't worry about bucking it up, because this stupid thing don't have seat belts. What's all the racket about? Hey. Read the sign, son. Size official Duck Commander 2. So Willie signed off on it? Well, no, but look, he'll be happy that I took the initiative, because this is a cash cow here. All right. Are we invited? For $40. Forty dollars? Hey, this is the first tour. Once we get it going, it's gonna go up to 80. But look, since you work for Duck Commander, I'll let y'all ride free. All right. So come well, on. Let's do it. I can go for free. Right, yeah. All right, fire it up, man, man. Let's go. Look, Willie bought this dish knife just for fun, OK? But look, he's got a gold mine here that he don't even realize. 
We're talking about Merle here, boys. This is the famous ice cabin that I used to be co-owner on. But me and John Luke had difficulties, OK? So I took my money and reinvested it in other places. This is seriously our first stop. We never left the parking lot. Look, if this tour takes off like I think it's going to, this old deuce and a half may turn into my golden goose and a half. Golden goose. Well, good. Let's get a snow cone. Right, yeah. 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 Get a snow cone. We've got to go to the next stop. It's right there. Ain't nobody got time for that. I want a snow cone. Right Turn up, man, man. Let's go. All right, here we go. Y'all hold on. Hey, that means so time today, Mountain Man. Look, Willie's not the financial genius I am. I'm kind of like a Warren Buffett. Willie's more like a, uh, a Warren Buffet. I'm telling you, hey, it's all about the cha-ching. Ah. Ah. Hey, hold on. Jeez. Hold on. I want to go, go. Welcome to Southern Escape. Have you guys ever played an escape room before? No. No? OK. So the theme is you have hiked to the top of a mountain, you get lost, and you see a cabin that has some lights on. And you go in, and the door slams shut behind you. So you have 60 minutes before the guy comes back, and you have to find all these clues to get out. What happens if we don't get out and the man comes back? You're dead. Yeah, you die. What? OK, I think you're looking a little too far into it. The story's flawed from the start, because I wouldn't get lost. We actually did get lost in Utah. We, we weren't lost. lost. Yes, I knew, we were. I knew what state I was in. Mm. I really like our chances of escaping this room, mostly because my survival skills are second to none. All right, so you guys give me your phones, and I will put it in this drawer. So what kind of weapons would we... You don't really need any weapons. Oh, I always have a weapon. I can literally survive in any environment with just a knife. Once I leave civilization, I have, I'm armed. All right, so if you guys actually have any weapons, I will take them. <laughs> OK. Even without a knife, I can literally survive in any environment, because that's what we're down to. So once you guys get out, you get your picture taken, and you get to get on our wall of fame. Huh. OK, so if you guys are ready to go play, you can follow me. All right. OK, it, girls, say your prayers. Good luck, y'all. Have fun. All right, well, we're um, going to win. Just... OK. You can go ahead and take a picture now if you want to. Sure. Yeah. Good luck. Yeah. Look, one, two, three. No, look, look, hold on. I mean, look. Ah. It's a duck call here. Can this move? No, you can't move front. Well, how am I going to test the duck call? Don't. Normally, Jace would take charge in this situation. But when you have trouble setting up an umbrella, you lose all credibility. Listen to me. Hey. Hey. Listen to me. You're not listening. Mia, this duck call doesn't have any reeds in it. So? If there's anything me and the girls learn being with Jace out on the dove field, He's not the best problem solver. Hey, that's a clue right there. So it says want to get want out. Want to get out? Let's see, you try. But see, underlight is out and lets. Let me think. Oh, outlet. outlet. Let me think. There's an outlet. What? Because I got a key, bro. Huh? Now I want to pull apart all these outlets, but I don't know if that's a good idea. It's pretty obvious I'm the only capable adult in our party. What's this? Ooh, there's a hand. E. Nice. Give me five. No, I don't. What kind of sick mind dreams up these things? Hey, look here. This is the best spot on the tour. Right here. Right here. This spot. Yeah, this spot. What's that? Yeah. It's a warehouse. Well, hey, back then, all of this was woods and a big cypress lake, all right? Fascinating. And we came here for this? Yeah, well, hey, this is history. I've seen a Rougarou here. What's a Rougarou? Well, it's half wolverine, half alligator, half antelope, half jackrabbit, half wolf, you know, half werewolf. That's a lot of heads. Yeah. He's a mixture. All this talk making me hungry. I'm glad you brought that up, because guess where the next stop is? Where? Tokyo. Tokyo? I was a hibachi chef, OK? So that's where we're going next. Oh, great. I mean, right, find this puppy up, Mountain Man. Let's go. Why did we get in here? Look, hey, a lot of people say, well, this don't seem that interesting to me. Oh, oh, oh. Woo. I thought they'd be all fired up, but no, they get the grumbling and mumbling on me here. Tokyo, Japanese, seafood, and steakhouse. Says sushi. 
Let's just get it over with. I'm providing them our excellent services, okay? And look, these dum dums should recognize that. Well, let's eat. Let's go. Hold it, hold it. Huh? Mail ain't included in the ticket. What a jip. This is a sightseeing tour, okay? Not a sight eating tour. Look, you got about five minutes. You might order something. You can't get water in five minutes. Can't get out of this truck in five minutes. Y'all got an attitude of problem. Look, if you want a tour with the meal, go take a tour with Willie. Because look, you can feed a family of four from the crumbs in his beard. And I have pretty good food, too. We don't get to eat. You had five minutes, you done wasted it. No, oh, I've been kidnapped. You ain't been kidnapped. These people need their money back. Yeah. Hey. You're hung up on that rip-off. Nobody got ripped off here. I want a uh, refund. That's it for well, these look, people. They want a refund. No, look, we got a strict policy, no refunds. Well, look, take me back to Duck Commander. Let's go. No, we got one more stop. What? Yeah, we got one more stop. This is the next to the last stop. Where are we go? We're going to Willie's Ranch. You gonna get us all fired. No, ain't nobody gonna get fired. Yeah. I wouldn't go out there. Ain't nobody gonna get no refund, and nobody did get ripped off. And we didn't get to eat, either. All right, driver, hey, crank your thing up and get us to Willie's Ranch. Willie's Ranch it is. Oh. There you go. Hey, there we go, boy. There we go. All right, head on out of here. Let's go. This is the worst tour ever. All right, welcome to the famous Robertson Ranch, folks, okay? On the official Duck Commander tour. And look, we're in luck, folks. Willie's out here mowing today. Okay, melt me. Get this thing turned around, son. Crank it up. Let's get out of here. <laughs> this is gonna be good here. <laughs> Uh-oh. Coming to talk to us? I don't know if he's coming to talk what to us. What about it? Si, what are you doing? I'm doing the official Duck Commander tour. Si, there's not a official Duck Commander tour. Read the sign, buddy. Si, I thought you were going hunting. That was an assumption on your part there, sir. You were supposed to bring me doves. We're going to get the doves worked out. Don't worry about that. Si. All right, folks, look. Hey, for an extra five bucks, you can take a picture of Willie right now. Si, can I see you one second just down? Sure, here? I'll be right down. In life, there are good surprises and bad surprises. In my life, the worst kind of surprises are si surprises. Uh, have you lost your mind bringing people out here to my private farm? You're famous, bro. Hey, got to be $10. You have to give Sai points for creativity, then take away those points for stupidity. Sai, they don't even have seatbelts on. I didn't even charge them for that. You brought up a good point. I might charge him for that. I guess I should consider myself lucky he didn't drive into a lake or cover it in balloons to make a blimp. Sai, this tour's over. Mount Man, you need to drive these people back quick as you can to the office very safely. I would, Willie, but we didn't put fuel in the budget for the tour. Hey, look, you got any gas around here? I'll throw in 12 extra doves, OK, if we get some gas for the truck. No, I don't have any extra fuel. Well, would you drive them back to the duck commander? All right. God. All right, folks, a treat. You're going to actually get to take Willie's personal truck, OK, back to duck commander, and he's going to be your chauffeur for the All day. Right. <laughs> for a nominal fee of only five more dollars. Si, quit charging them for stuff. Size tea jug for ten dollars. Hey, watch it. That tea jug ain't for sale, buddy. We're running out of time. Look, 25 minutes. Try five, three, seven, four, daddy. Try it. All right, I'm trying. Three, four, five, seven. Try that one. Uh, which one? Three, four, five, seven. Five, three, yeah, got it. Got it. Got him. You. Got yes. him. Look what I got. There's a key. Now wait, we're wait, going. Wait. I got the key. Let's Let's go. Go. Let's Let's go. Go. Hey, look what I got. It might be a snake in there. Yeah, look what I got. Uh, a mirror. A mirror. What the heck? <laughs> I got a pipe. I don't do well in confined spaces for long periods of time. Hello, Jim. And for that reason, the longer I'm stuck in here, the more I feel like I'm losing it. Being cooped up has never helped anyone. We got two minutes left, guys. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I don't know, what are you thinking? Look, when you're outside, you've got options. When you're trapped inside, you have no options, except to go outside. All right. We're out! We're out, girls. <laughs> Which is where the doves are. I wonder if we're gonna get our picture on the wall. I think your dad got a little impulsive, but that is an important lesson. 
If a guy's after you at a cabin... Free! We're free. Will you get our picture on the wall? Yep, we're good. You got their picture on there? Well, it was kind of just to me. How much that door cost you? 100 bucks. Think they're going to let you come back again? That's what I thought. We all learned something today, kids. Yeah, we learned something. Aren't y'all ready to go dove hunt? We're fixing to smoke them. I'm proud of you, Dad. You broke out of your comfort zone. All right, let's pray. Father, we're so thankful to be in your presence. Uh, we're thankful for this family. We're thankful for our business, our opportunities. Thank you for your grace that you've given us. Help us to be bright lights in the world. And we just pray that you be with the rest of our family. And uh, thank you so much for this food. Through Jesus we pray. Amen. Amen. When you're at Robertson, you come to expect the unexpected from your family members. So it's not surprising when your uncle asks to borrow your truck for hunting and then shows up at your ranch with a bunch of tourists. With this group, you accept that everyone's hearts are in the right place, even when it seems like they're always trying to prove that rules or doors are meant to be broken. And in Sai's case, some very serious traffic laws. Jace, what's this charge of $100 for? Uh, freedom? So basically, we just wasted a whole day. How's that different from any other day?